Hi guys, my name is Gina. No, no, no. His name is Duncan. And today we are going to be opening up a package from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. So if you guys are interested in that, please stay tuned to this. So before I open this package, I do want to put in a small kind of like disclaimer about this. Um, this is of his new collection, which you would know by the title and most likely the cover photo by now. And I know there's a lot of controversy about it. I'm not here for any sort of controversy. I honestly, like I understand people were wrong, people were right, all that back and forthness. But I bought this because I personally love the quality of his makeup. And I also understand like, yes, you don't want to support a person, but just a person B in general. But person B has person C, D, E, F, and a million other letters underneath them that also when you purchase goes to their paychecks too. So I feel like that's something that people just aren't quickly grasping. So like if I was to own a company and you hated me and didn't want to support me, that's great, that's whatever. But if all of a sudden, all the people who used to support me aren't, then I'm gonna start firing people because I don't have enough money for that, if that makes any sense. And that might not be a situation that Jeffree Star is in per se, but that is why I am very much open to still purchasing his products and they are made in the USA, which is something that I am a big, big fan of. But yeah, that is it. Uh, that was my little disclaimer. No drama here, just opening because I love the products that he does create. So yeah. All right, so I have the box, all of the tape kind of like cut off. And I am gonna mention that his boxes are a little bit confusing. So I'm gonna cover up my name. It looks like it's supposed to like, I don't know, like come up this way in a sense, or like down the way with how this little like divot comes. It actually goes up. So here is the inside of my box. And I'm a little weirded out that this was the shipping box and there's no other box inside, but I also understand that for the kind of packaging and saving the world purposes. But he does have this like brown tissue paper in it, which is very themed for this collection. And then he has the palette. So this is in kind of like special themed paper, which I love and has the same sticker. I am just gonna rip it. And it is surrounded in bubble wrap. This looks awesome. So here is the packaging. It's very like the velvety matte feel, which I'm into. I wish I was the type of person who keeps makeup for like the packaging, but I just am not. So I am gonna end up getting rid of this packaging to it. So I'll open her up, slide her on out. So this is the palette itself. So let's open and give a good look. So inside we do have a pretty good mirror and then all of the shades. I do appreciate that this mirror like completely folds over and here there is a protector and all of the shades that are in his palette. So I know a lot of people were commenting saying that this was like a very, very boring palette, which I do understand that, but I also understand that his eyeshadows are awesome. Like I love some of his palettes and this one is in here. I feel like this is good for people like me who don't wear colorful eyes on a daily basis and someone who wants the same quality. So here are all these. And I'm gonna do swatches after I open everything. I am gonna do an eye look, that's why I have no makeup on today. But I just wanted to show you that at first. Um, the next thing in here I bought was the Magic Star Luminous Setting Powder. And I got the shade Fair. I believe there was like eight or nine shades. There wasn't many. But they're very general, so it looks like him. I didn't want to get translucent because I'm not into that. And then it says on the back, let's see if it says how much is in here. It is 10 grams of product. So it's right in here. And we'll open it up if I can. And it says there's an open and I guess you twist it to close. Okay, so you twist it to open and then there's this little thing you gotta peel off and now it is open. So that's a really good kind of way to contain powder. So I'll close that up because I'm not gonna use it right now or today. I don't think I'm gonna be using it because I do have a lot of my face already done. It comes with a little kind of like a photo and then a photo of the whole collection. And then the last thing I purchased in this, which is actually the biggest thing in the box, is a mirror. So I am blind as crazy, and I really, I'm just awful at doing my makeup on camera because I have to use this mirror that's like next to me. And 
I don't, there's like no good way to film with a mirror that huge when you have to like be like this close to it. So I don't know. I wanted to get a handheld mirror. I like how his looks in all the videos and there's no like magnifying thing to it. But so I decided to pick this one up because I also like the color. So here she is. Awesome. I actually got to double check that this is the one I purchased. This one is like a chrome, but I was pretty sure I brought like the pink matte one. But this is the one that I ended up getting. It does feel very plasticky and kind of low quality, honestly. Like they, these mirrors don't feel like great. I definitely can see myself and like I can see myself without glasses on when it's like super close. But it feels, I don't know. It feels like I could buy a set like Walmart, like one of those circle ones at Walmart and would have been very similar. I think that was like $18. Um, let me see. Yeah, so on here, the mirror is, it's $25, the powder is $22, and the palette was $62, and then with shipping and everything, it was around $130 for these three items. So it is quite expensive, especially if this feels very cheap, and I want to see how these other things perform. But yeah, let's get into the look. Okay, so now we are very up close and personal. Um... So we're just gonna jump into this, and I don't think I mentioned it yet in this video, and I don't want to refilm anything, but you guys might want to stay to the end for a surprise if I didn't mention it in the title. Um, but yeah, we're gonna get started. I think I'm just gonna do one eye look, and I picked out just a few of like my favorite brushes. I honestly, I don't know where to start. I really wish I learned more how to do um, like smoky eyes, but I think I'm gonna dig into. I'm gonna do I'm shy. I'm gonna start with that one, just do a base over both my eyes and go from there. So I'm gonna grab a good amount on this brush and this one is from Farah Cosmetics. So I do have a good amount on the brush and we're gonna apply it just starting with my left eye. So it's very chalky if you guys are able to see any of that coming up and I don't have any um, primer down. I feel like eyeshadows should be able to work without a primer so if you need to have a primer to an eyeshadow to work. It's just, it's a bad eyeshadow. That's just my opinion too on that. So I'll put it on both my eyes. And this color is like exactly my skin tone. Or it just has no pigment. It's one or the other because I can't tell. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'll keep picking it up for a few just so you guys can get like an array. I'm gonna go into Invitation Only, which is like this like reddish chocolate brown with the same exact brush. And I'm gonna start working that kind of into my crease. And that picked up a whole lot. So that definitely changed color. Uh, I'm also not one to ever tap off my brushes. I just don't understand that. So I'm gonna put that just on here. It's definitely a lot. And I'm gonna just gonna start trying to blend this in just on like the outer side and kind of working it in my crease a little bit. I was actually kind of upset with like the drama surrounding this palette because I wish, I love buying palettes that other YouTubers are recommending me and loving to see their looks and what they're doing with it. But I didn't see like anyone that I subscribed, like barely anyone was posting looks on this. I'm gonna have a little more for this eye. But I also didn't purchase the mini palette. I have a glitter palette that I adore so much. I don't really like those like shimmer shine colors. So that wasn't one for me. So I like how this is all matte. So we can blend this out. And I'm not a professional makeup artist either. So this might not be a hundred, but it's gonna be something. So this one I definitely did end up going like up into my brow, but you know, that's okay. We're we're here to play. We're here to have fun. So I'm just going to make this one go into my brow. Even that out. All right. So I'm going to grab a completely different brush now, which is still going to be another big fluffy brush. And I think I'm going to go into, I think maybe bottom. So this is like a diagonal color from the last one I used. This is a very like warm brown then. Kind of like a sand dirty color. I'm gonna put this in the middle. And actually I'm gonna put it over my whole rest of my eyelid. So this definitely isn't covering the round previous. So they are blending really pretty together, but 
there isn't too too much like coverage pigment if that makes sense so like I feel like if I was to put this over a uh, purple it's still gonna be really purple like there isn't gonna be much difference in this color and it might just be the lighter shades maybe the lighter shades just were are the darker shades with just a whole lot less pigment but that's kind of what I'm feeling right now so let's just put this all over my lid I'm gonna also work it a little bit into the crease have that out cool and then I'm gonna grab kind of like a smaller more like packing brush so I'll grab this one this is from Elf and Jay Kissa and I'm gonna grab I think money shot this is like the darkest color alert in this like reddish brown tone so I'm gonna grab that and I'm just gonna put that in the very outer corner just so my eyeliner blends in just a very little bit more I will say, even if this doesn't feel cheap, I love having it, though. Um, this is definitely something. Okay. And then I think the last thing I'm going to do is grab this brush. This is from the Morph and Jeffree Star collection. And I'm going to grab that same very dark color and put that kind of underneath my lash line. And I always go in with my finger after I do that just to kind of smear it out a little bit more. Okay. So I'll go in with my opposite hand and kind of smear it out just a little bit more. Great. So I'm going to also, I'm going to divvy in to one of my all-time favorite palettes, which is my NYX palette. I'm gonna finish up my face and I'll show you guys the finished look. Okay, so I have my bangs down, some lashes on, and I choose to do um, Jeffree Star's liquid lipstick in shade Leo. I felt like it matched this look pretty well. But this then is my finished look. I definitely feel like the lighter shades aren't that great. They aren't super, super pigmented, aren't super light, but these darker ones are awesome. And I did want to show you guys just very quickly a few random swatches. Um, I think I'm just going to go down this last row with my fingers and then do all of those. So I'll grab the top one, the Seduction, Better Floor, uh, Cunnilings, Scorpio, and then Gloria Hole. So here are those five shades. There's a little bit of pickup in the pan with that black. But it's a black, those are hard to do. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna swatch these right on my arm for you guys. Here's that one, two, three, four, and five. So they're definitely not the strongest in pigment, which is a very much a letdown because I wanted this palette to succeed by so much. Solely, I think, because of the drama and everything else surrounding it, and I wanted to justify my purchase. Um, I'm gonna use it a lot. I think I'm gonna use it very much every single day because of the color scheme of it, but it's also not super pigmented. Um, I also did not review uh, the the setting powder. I don't think you can really review a setting powder in a video because it's gotta last a while. So I don't know, that's more something that I can review in an Instagram post. I could just mention it if I do take a photo of my makeup later on in the day. So that is almost it for this video. Something that I did wanna include in this is a little giveaway for you guys. I ended up purchasing this item because I thought I was getting low on a shadow and I saw this was the last chance to get this like type of palette. But then I reconsidered it and I was looking around and I was like, well, I'm not really getting, I'm not even hitting pan yet on this shadow. I don't need it. So I am gonna be doing a giveaway with the Jeffree Star Morph palette. Um, this is completely sealed. I've never opened it. And it's honestly a super beautiful palette. Uh, in order to enter this giveaway, one, you have to be subscribed. And two, you have to comment down below on this video, the first video you saw of me. So what drew you into my channel? So just comment those two things and it could be this video and that is perfectly fine too. And also leave me below the best, the best way to contact you. So whether that be an email or through IG, just some way I can contact you. Um, I will not contact you for any sort of payment information or anything like that. I would just need your name and shipping address, and that is it. Um, the giveaway is going to end 
I'm gonna say in a week. Today is the 4th, so 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th. Uh, I'll leave it the 10th. So the, it'll end September 10th, this giveaway. So please enter it before then with the comments down below. Thank you. <laughs>